Hello and welcome to the sixth lesson of my series Salesforce for Beginners. In this video, we are going to learn about sharing rules and manual sharing. This is the third part of the series Security Model. If you wish to see any of the previous videos, the links will be in the description. So let's get started. So as already seen in the previous lessons, here are the contents of the security model. We've already seen what are profiles, permission sets, roles, and organization-wide defaults. Let us quickly recall what part they've played in the security model. Starting with profiles and permission sets, they create the baseline object permissions. This basically determines what a user can see on the object, like the fields, which objects are visible, etc. Right on top of this, we have the organization-wide default, which provides the restriction on the org such that it can be set to private, it can be set to public read only, or it can be set to public read write, where private is the most restrictive and public read write is the most open access available. Next, we have the role hierarchy, which basically allows any user who's on a higher hierarchy level to view the records of the one who is below in the hierarchy level. Moving forward, we have the sharing rules and the manual sharing. Sharing rules open up lateral access while manual sharing are flexible. We're going to learn about them more in detail in this chapter. So what are sharing rules? An admin can use a sharing rule to extend a user's record sharing access to public groups, to different roles and different territories. A sharing rule can be used when the organization by default is any more restrictive than the public read write. Now this is because sharing rules are used to provide access when the org is already restrictive. When an organization-wide default is public read-write, it already provides access to all users to view the records of any other user. Hence, sharing rule is used when the organization-wide default is either private or public read-only. Now let's discuss what kind of records can be shared using a sharing rule. We can share records owned by a certain user or we can share records which meet a certain criteria. Next, we have who are the users with whom we can share the records. These are basically the recipient users who are going to get access to records which are owned by a different user. These users can be users in a public group. They can be users in different roles or roles and subordinates. The next question is what level of sharing access can be provided using a sharing rule? We can provide read only access or read write access using a sharing rule. Now let's try to visualize sharing rules using an example. Let's take an example of a chain of schools such that we have two branches, one in India and one in US. Let's consider in the Salesforce org for this school, we have the organization wide default set to private. And this is the role hierarchy that we can see on the screen. We know that role hierarchy provides vertical access, which means that Mr. Professor who is at the bottom of this branch reports to Mr. Principal, such that all the records that belong to Mr. Professor can be viewed by Mr. Principal. Similarly, Miss Teacher's records can be viewed by Mr. Dean. And all the records in the both branches can be viewed by Mrs. Owner, who is at the top of the hierarchy. While there is this vertical axis, we know that Mr. Professor or Miss Teacher can't see each other's records because they're not placed in the hierarchy to enable that kind of sharing. But what if all the records that belong to Mr. Professor from the faculty lead India role has to be shared with all the users who are in the faculty lead USA role. This won't be possible using the role hierarchy. To enable this type of lateral sharing, we introduce the sharing rule. This sharing rule will either provide a read access or read write access to all the records which belong to Mr. Professor. Following which, Miss Teacher should now be able to see record 1 and record 2 which actually belong to Mr. Professor. So now that we are familiar with what a sharing rule is, let's log into our Salesforce developer account and create our very first sharing rule. So I'm currently logged into my Salesforce developer account. Before we get started with creating the sharing rule, let us go and check which users are present for this demonstration in our Salesforce org. So click on setup. On the left side, quick find, type users. Under managed users, click on users. 
Now for this demonstration, I need two users who belong to different roles. So first I have Rock Lee and then I have Might Guy. Rock Lee is an associate and we have VP North American Sales role associated to Might Guy. Using our sharing rule, we are going to make sure that the records that belong to Rock Lee can be accessed by Might Guy. Basically sharing the records between the role associate and VP North America sales. Another thing to notice here is that you can see that there is a login button beside each user. Now this might not be visible for some of you in your orgs. The reason being this corresponds to a setting that is available in your org. To enable that, check the description and follow the steps. If you don't already have two different users in your org, make sure that you create them. The steps to how to create a user has already been discussed in one of my previous lectures. The links will be in the description. Also ensure that the roles do not belong to the same branch. So assign the roles accordingly. Now let's start with creating our sharing rule. Scroll to the top of the page and click on setup. On the quick find, search sharing settings. You'll find it under administrators, security controls, sharing settings. Click on sharing settings. Now if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the organization wide defaults and right under that, you're going to find all the sharing rules corresponding to each object. Let's create a sharing rule on the account object. So on the account sharing rules, click on the new button. Fill all the mandatory fields like the label, let's name it associate sharing the rule name is automatically calculated but let me just correct the spelling here you can scroll down select your rule type it can be based on a record owner which means that you'll be able to select which users records you want to share or you can just select based on criteria now this changes to step 3 which now asks you select which records to be shared you can use these field to uh, create a criteria based on which the records to be shared will be selected. But let us get back and just select based on a record owner. We want to share the records that belong to Rock Lee with Might Guy. So in step three, I'm going to click on this drop down. I can either select a public group, role, or role and subordinates. But uh, as we discussed, we are going to click on roles. In roles, I know that the user Rock Lee belongs to associate. So I'm going to select that. Select the user to share with. Now this is where we are going to select the role of the second user with whom we want to share the records. Now this is going to be VP North American Sale. Moving on to step five, now we are going to select the level of access that we want to provide on these shared records. So the default account and contract access right now is marked as read only. So the other option that we have is read write. So let us just give read only access. Let the other two uh, objects associated to account have the private set on them and let's click on save. You're going to have a pop up message. You can click on OK. Now let's go and see if the sharing rule actually works. So I'm going to go and click users. So in users, I'm going to go and log in as Rock Lee. So I can either log in from this button that you can see on this page or you can click on the name. And once on the detail page, you can click on login. So I'm going to log in as Rock Lee. Now let's go to the accounts tab. Under accounts, let's click on all accounts and see which are the records which are already available. So we have sample company and we have sample company too. You can see the account owner is Rock Lee. Given that we already have a sharing rule, we must expect that these records are also available in the other user's account. So let's log in as the other user. So on a different tab, I'm already logged in as Guy Mighty. I can go to accounts, click on all accounts and click on go. And you see that I now have the two records which are actually created by Rockly visible here. But if I just move back to the accounts that belong to 
Rock Lee. I cannot see Mighty Guys records when I'm logged in as Rock Lee. This is because there is only a sharing loop that gives access to Mighty Guy with all the records that belong to Rock Lee and not vice versa. Hence our sharing rule is working perfectly. Now let's take a look at the shared records that we have on the Mike Guys account and see what is the access available on this record. So let me open Sample Company in another tab and also open Might Konoha Company 2 which actually belongs to Might Guy in one of the tabs. Now when I go to the Sample Company record, when I click on Edit, it would say insufficient privileges. This is because we've only given read access on it. Now going back to another account, which actually belongs to my guy, you can click on edit. And this will also allow us to edit this because this record actually belongs to my guy. Now that we've learned what sharing rules are, let's explore manual sharing. Manual sharing setting enable a user to share his or her records with any other specific user. Using manual sharing, a user who is the owner of the record can determine whom the user wants to share his records with. The user can determine which records he wants to share or also can decide if he wants to share a single record with another user. So let's understand this using an example. We have Mr. Professor who has two records in the student object. Mr. Professor wants to share one of these records with Miss Teacher. In such a scenario, we'll have to share this using the manual sharing setting. So let's say we want to share the record Indra. So by introducing a manual sharing, Miss Teacher will now be able to access Indra. But Asura is not shared with Miss Teacher and hence that will not be accessible. Here the records are not shared with Miss Teacher's role but Miss Teacher as a user. This ensures that the record is only shared with Miss Teacher and no other users have access to this record apart from Mr. Professor who is the owner of the record. So now that we know what manual sharing does, let's go to our Salesforce org and share a record using manual sharing. I'm currently logged in into my Salesforce account and I'm logged in as Guy Mighty. Now I want to share one of the records owned by Guy Mighty with Rockley. So let's go and share Mighty Konoha Company 2 with Rock Lee. To share this record, I'm going to go and click on this button sharing on the account detail page. Now as this sharing detail page pops up, I'm going to click on add. Now in the new sharing page, I'm going to go and click on this drop down. As you can see, I can share the specific record with public group roles, roles in subordinate and as well as users. So I'm going to select users and select for Rock Lee and click on add. Now the access that I want to give is read write. So this is going to allow Rock Lee to be able to edit the record. So I'm going to click on save. There you're given the access by using manual sharing to share this record with Rock Lee. As you can see, in this record, you can see Rock Lee is able to access the record for the reason manual sharing and Guy Mighty has this access for the reason of him being the owner. Also, the access here is read write for Rock Lee. Now let's jump to the other window where I have logged in as Rock Lee and I'm on the accounts page. You can see I only have two accounts available. So if I quickly refresh this page, you'll see that now I have another record which was shared by Guy Mighty. Let's click on the record. On the record page, you can see that when I click on the edit button, I'm able to edit the record. Hence, the manual sharing is working perfectly. So that's it for today's video. If you like the video, press on that like button, comment and share the video and subscribe to my channel Begin IT. Also like us on Facebook and visit our blog on WordPress. So this is Devjit Chaudhary and I'll see you next time.